Here are our materials. We see pennies and zinc washers. Uh, we will also be using vinegar. So this is acidic and provides the electrolyte for our battery. Shown here is uh, little squares of cardboard soaking in the vinegar. So I tried to cut the squares of vinegar to be about the size of the penny and the washer. And then we and here we are, here. here I am, the, uh, placing uh, them together. Voltmeter. So that, as we have it, is a battery. Notice how it gets um, almost a volt, a little more than half a volt. So this right here is actually a battery. We have a penny and a washer with cardboard in between, and the cardboard is soaked in vinegar. That is the acidic electrolyte. What we're going to do is stack a bunch of these together to create a greater voltage. So in the next frame, we see uh, several of them. It looks like one, two, three, four stacks of penny cardboard washer together, and it's enough to light a light bulb. Okay. So this worked well, but look at what happens when we push on the sides. We are going to be wrapping these in tape, and what's going on here is the cardboard gets swished and actually transmits some electricity. So because the cardboard was sticking out too much, it uh, didn't allow the battery to work properly. So what we're going to do is I took it apart, and uh, I'm going to recut some cardboard squares so that they are smaller. They're just about the size of a penny and a washer, which are about the same size. Do you see how I also cut off the corners so that it's almost round in shape? So if you can, cut the cardboard so that it's basically the same shape as the washer and doesn't stick out the sides. Um, another thing that I did was just to help organize, I cut out a little section of plate because it helped me stack the pennies and washers together. Okay, um, so here is about five, five or six groups of penny washer cardboard uh, stacked together, and it was just enough to light the light bulb. Okay, so experiment and find out how many you need so that the light bulb lights, and then duct tape it up. Remember that the light bulb has a positive side and a negative side, so try switching it around if it doesn't work. And then once it works, it should look like this, okay? And uh, I have, mine has been lit for a couple hours and it's still going, so good luck with this. Lastly, here's a uh, diagram of how it should look. Notice how it's, uh, the cardboard is between the penny and the washer and we have stacked them together. So put them together in that order and it should work.